ओम भूरभुव स्वत सवितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवश्यम धियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन डायलॉग्स फ्रॉम उपनिषद एंड द उपनिषद इज छांदो गया उपनिषद सो छांदो गया उपनिषद इज हैविंग मोर डायलॉग्स एंड इट मे हैव थ्री फोर वीडियोज सो I start the first video on Chandogaya Upanishad, Chapter 1, Section 10, Usasti and Elephant Driver, <coughs> Stanza number 1. When these Kurus had been destroyed by hailstones, Usasti, son of Chakra, with his child wife, lived in great distress in Ibhagrama in the village of possessor of elements. Stanza 2. He begged food of the possessor of elephants who was eating beans. Unto him said the possessor of elephants, I have no more except these which are placed before me for eating. Stranger 3, give me out of these, replied he. The possessor of elements gave them to him. He said, well, here is water for drinking. Then said Osasti, if I drink this water, I would be drinking something left by another and therefore unclean. <laughs> Stranger 4, the possessor of elephants said, are not these beans also left over as I am eating them and therefore unclean? He replied, I will not live if I do not eat these. But as for the drink of water, I can get it whenever I like. Stanza 5 Having eaten them, he gave the remaining beans to his wife, but she, having eaten before, took them and put them away. <coughs> Stanza 6 Next morning on awakening, on awaking, Usasti exclaimed, Alas, if I could get something to eat, I could earn some wealth. The king here is going to perform some sacrifice and he should choose me for all the priestly functions. Seventh, his wife said to him, O my lord, here are those beans of yours. Having eaten them, he went to the sacrifice that was being performed. He, stanza 8, he went and sat down at the place of sacrifice near the Udgatri priest who were going to sing the hymns of praise. He said to the Prastotri priest, stanza 9, O Prastotri, if without knowing the deity which belongs to the Prastava, you sing it, your head will fall off. Stanza 10. In the same manner, he addressed the Udgatri priest, O Udgatri priest, if without knowing the deity which belongs to the Udgatri, you sing it, your head will fall off. Stanza 9. In the same manner, he addressed the Parti Hartri priest, O Parti Hartri, if without knowing the deity which belongs to 
pratihara you sing it your head will fall off they stopped and sat down in silence section 11 usasti king and pri priests stanza 1 then the sacrificer king said to him i should like to know who you are sir he replied i am usasti chakrayana stanza 2 he said i looked for you sir for all these sacred facial functions and not finding you i appointed others stanza 3 but now sir please take up all the sacred facial offices usasti said very well let these with my permission sing the hymns of praise but give me also as much wealth as you give them the sacrificer said very well sir stanza 4 then the pras to three priest approached him and said sir you said to me o prasos three if you not knowing the deity belonging to the prastava sing it your head will fall off which then is the deity stanza 5 he said breath prana for all these beings merge into breath alone and from breath alone they rise this is the deity which belongs to prastava if without knowing this deity you had sung forth your hymns your head would have surely fallen off after you had been warned by me 6 then the udgatri priest approached him and said sir you said to me udgatri if without knowing the deity which belongs to the udgitha you sing it your head will fall off which then it is that deity stanzas and he said the sun aditya for all these beings sing to the sun when it stands on high this is the deity which belongs to the udgitha if without knowing that deity you had sung forth your hymns your head would have surely have fallen off after you had been warned by me stanza 8 then the parti harti priest approached him and said sir you said to me o parti harti if without knowing the deity which belongs to the parti hara you sing it your head will fall off which then is that deity he said food anna for all these things live when they take food this is the deity which belongs to pratihara if without knowing that deity you had sung your head would have fallen off after you had been warned by me section 12 udgitha of the dogs stanza 1 now then the udgitha of the dogs baka dal bhaiya or as he was also called glava matreya went out to repeat the veda in a quiet place stranger to a white dog a god or a sage assuming the shape of a dog appeared before him and other dogs gathering around him and said to him sir sing and get us food we are hungry third the white dog said to them come to me here tomorrow morning baka dal bhaiya or galaba maitreya watched them strange of all just as the priest who are going to sing praises by the vahis pavmana hyman move along joined to one another so did the dogs move along they took their seats and began to pronounce him he is 
Gospels. Stanza 5. Om, let us eat. Om, let us drink. Om, Neda, God, Varuna, Parajapati, Savitri, bring us food. Lord of food, bring hither food. Yeah, bring it. Om. Chandoge Upanishad, Chapter 4, Section 1 Jana Sruti and Arakwa. Stranger 1 Om. There lived once upon a time Jana Sruti, the great grandson of Jana Sruta, who was a pious giver, generous, and having much cooked food. He built resting places everywhere thinking people coming from all sides will rest here and partake of my food. Stranger 2 Once in the night some Hansa's flamingos flew over his house and one flamingo said to another he Bhalaksha, he Bhalaksha, short-sighted one, short-sighted friend, the bright glory of Janusruti Patriyana has spread like the sky. Do not go near that it might not burn thee. Stranger 3, the other replied, O friend, didst Thou say this with reference to this Jan Shruti as if he was like thee. Saintly Rekva Vidakar. Stanza 4. The first asked, Now who is the Rekva Vidakar? The other replied, As in a game of dice, all the lower caste belong to him who has won with the Karita caste. So whatever good deeds other people perform belong to that Rekwa. Whatever anyone else know, Rekwa knows all knows all that. He is thus spoken of by me. Stanza five. Jan Sruti, great grandson, overheard this conversation and as soon as he had risen in the morning he said to his doorkeeper "O oh friend find out rekwa with the car he asked well what sort of person is rekwa with the car stanza 6 jana saruti said just as all the lower castes belong to one who has won with the Krita caste, so does belong to him whatever good people perform. He also who knows what he knows, he is the spoken of by me. Seventh, the doorkeeper went to look for Rekwa but returned saying, I found him not. Then the king said, Alas, where a Brahmana should be searched for in the solitude of the forest, there go for him. Stanza 8 The doorkeeper came to a man who was lying beneath a car and scratching his swords. He addressed him and asked, Sir, are you Rekwa with the car? Rekwa answered, Well, yes, I am. Then the doorkeeper returned and said, I have found him. Section 2 Stanza 1 Then Jan Sarutas, then Jan Sarutas great grandson Jan Saruti took with him 600 cows, a necklace and he carries with mules, went to Rekwa said, Stranger 2, Rekwa, here are 600 cows, a necklace, and a carries 
with nude. Now, sir, teach me that duty which you worship. Stanza 3. The other Rekwa replied, Fi Fi, necklace and courage with cows be thine, O Sudra. Stanza 4. Then Jamsruti took with him a thousand cows, a necklace, a courage with mules and his own daughter and went to him. Fifth, he said to him, Rakwa, there are a thousand cow, a necklace, carries with mules, this wife and village in which you dwell. Now shall teach me. Stanza 6, holding her mouth, he said, You have brought these, O Sudra, by this mouth alone do you make me speak, knowing the damsel to be the cause of his imparting instruction. Rekwa said, Hast thou brought her for me, O Sudra? She will be the cause of my conversing with thee. There are the Rekwa par Parna villages in the country of the Mahavirshas where Rekwa lived, he then said to him, Section 3. Stranger 1. Rekwa said, Air Vayu indeed is the container. For when fire goes out, it goes into the air. When the sun sets, it goes into the air. And when the moon sets, it goes into the air. Stranger 2. When water dries up, it goes into air. For air indeed consumes them all. This with regard to the Devas. Stanza 3. Now with reference to the body, breath, prana is the end of all. When a man sleeps, speech goes into breath, sight goes into breath, hearing goes into breath, mind goes into breath. Breath indeed consumes them all. Those two indeed are the two ends. Absorbents or containers, air among the devas and breath among the senses. B. Sanka, Kapiya and a Brahmachari. Stanza 1. Once while Sanka, Kapiya and Abhiratri Kakshasani were being waited at their kneels, a religious student begged of them. They, however, gave him nothing. Stranger 2. He said, One God, Parjapati, who is he? Swallowed up the four great ones, he, the guardian of the world, him, O Kapiya, mortals see not. O Abhipratarin, Though he dwells in many places, he to whom the food belongs to him, it has not been given. Stanza 3. Sonka Kapiya, pondering on that speech, went to the student and said, O oh, Brahmacharin, he is the Lord of Devas, the creator of all beings with golden tusks the eater not without intelligence. His greatness is said to be great indeed because without being eaten he eats even what is not food such as fire speech. We, O Brahmacharin, meditate upon this being Brahma. Then he said to his servants, give him food. Stanza 4 they gave him food. Now these five is the eater, vayu, air, and is food, fire, sun, moon, and water, and the other five is the eater, prana, breath, and his food, speech, sight of hearing and mind, making ten are the kartaya, the highest caste. Therefore, in all quarters, 
those ten are the food and Krita. This is Virat, the eater of food. Through this all this becomes seen. He who knows this sees all this and becomes an eater of food, yet he becomes an eater of food. Chandogya Upanishad Chapter 4 Section 4 Satya Kama Jabala and Gautama Stranger Number 1 Satya Kama Jabala, the son of Jabala, addressed his mother and said, Mother, I wish to lead the life of a religious student, Brahmacharin. Of what family am I? Stranger 2 She said to him, I do not know my child of what family the what. In my youth when I had to move about much as a maid servant, I conceived thee. Therefore I do not know of what family thou art. But I am Jabala by name, and thou art Satyakama by name. Say that thou art Satyakama Jabala. Stanza 3. Having gone to Gautama, the son of Hardumat, he said, I wish to develop as a Brahmacharin with you, sir. May I come to you, sir? Stanza 4. He said to him, Of what family art thou, my friend? He replied, I do not know, sir, of what family I am. I asked my mother and she answered, In my youth, when I had to move about much as a maid servant, I conceived these, I do not know of what family thou art. I am Jabala by name, thou art Satyakama, I am therefore Satyakama Jabala, sir. Stanza 5. He said to him, No one but a true Brahmachari, no one but a true Brahmana would thus speak out child. Go and fetch the sacred fuel. I shall initiate you. You have not swerved from the <coughs> truth. Having initiated him, he chose 400 lean and weak cows and said to him, Tend these when he was taking these toward the forest. He, Gautama, said further, Do not come back without a thousand cows. He dwelt a number of years in the forest till they had become one thousand. Section 5 Then the bull, Vayu, said to him, Satyakama, he replied, Sir, the bull said, We have become a thousand and lead us to the house of the teacher. I will declare to you one foot of Dharma. Declare it, sir, he replied. He said to him, The eastern region is one quarter, the western region is one quarter, the southern region is one quarter. The northern region is one quarter. This is a foot of Dharma consisting of the four quarters and called a Prakasavat endowed with a splendour luminous. He who knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters by the name of Prakas what becomes luminous in this world. He conquers the effulgent worlds. Whoever knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma, consisting of the four quarters by the name of Prakas what as named luminous. Section 6. Stanza 1. Fire will declare to you the other foot of Dharma. Thus saying, Vayu went away. 
Satya Kama on the morrow drives the cows towards the house of the teacher. And when they came together towards the evening, he lighted a fire, penned the cows, placed fuel on the fire, and sat down behind the fire looking to east. Stanza 2. The Agni, the fire, said to him, Satyakama, he replied, Sir. Stanza 3. Agni said, Friend, I shall declare to you one foot of Dharma. Declare it, sir, he replied. He said to him, The earth is one quarter, the sky is one quarter, the heaven is one quarter, the ocean is one quarter. This is a foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters and called Anantavati, endless. Stanza 4. He who knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters by the name of Anantavati as the endless becomes endless in the world. He wins endless words. Whoever knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters by the name of Anantve what as the endless. Section 7 Stanza 1 A Hamsa Flamingo meant for the sun will declare to you another foot of Dharma. Thus saying, fire went away. Satyakama on the morrow drove the cows towards the house of the teacher. And when they came together towards the evening, he lighted a fire, penned the cows, placed fuel on the fire and sat down behind the fire, looking to the east. Stanza 2 Then a Hansa flew near and said to him, Satyakama, he replied, Sir, the Hansa said, Friend, I will declare unto these one foot of, unto thee, one foot of Verma. Declare it, Sir, he replied. He said to him, Fire is one quarter, the sun is one quarter, the moon is one quarter, the lightning is one quarter. This is a foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters and called Jyotismati, full of light. Stanza 4. He who knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters by the name of Jyotismat becomes effulgent in this world. He wins effulgent words. Whoever knows this and meditates on the foot of Dharma consisting of four quarters by the name of a Jyotismat as the effulgent. Section 8. Stanza 1. The water bird, Madhu, meant for Varna or Prana, will declare to you another foot of Dharma. Thus saying, the Hansa went away. On the morrow, Satyakama drove the cows homeward, and when he came towards the evening, he lighted a fire, tanned the cow placed a sacred fuel on the fire and sat down behind the fire, looking toward the east. Stanza 2 Then a water bird flew near and said to him, Satyakama, he replied, Sir. Third stanza The water bird said, Friend, I will declare unto you one foot of Burma. Declare it, sir, he replied. He said to him, 
prana is one quarter the eye is one quarter ear is one quarter the mind is one quarter this is a foot of brahma consisting of four quarters and called ayatanvat ayatanvat ayatanavat having a home stranda four he who knows this and meditates on the foot of brahma consisting of four quarters by the name of ayatan what becomes possessed of a home in this world he wins the worlds with whom whom so uh, whosoever whoever knows this and meditates on the foot of brahma consisting of four quarters by the name of ayatan what section 9 Stanjavan Thus he reached his teacher's house the teacher said to him satya kama he said yes sir Stanjato the teacher said oh friend thou signest like one knowing dharma who then has taught you he replied people other than man but i wish sir that you should teach me 3 for i have heard from men like you sir that only knowledge which is learned from the teacher is the best then the taught then he taught him the very same thing and nothing was left out yeah nothing was left out section 10 upa kosala and satya kama jabala Stanjavan Upakosala the son of Kamala dwelt as a brahmachari religious student with Satya Kama Jabala he tended his files for 12 years but the teacher though, though allowed his other pupils to depart to their own homes did not allow Upakosala to depart stranger to then his wife said to him this student who is quite exhausted with austerities has carefully tended your fires let not the fires themselves blame you teaching the teacher however went away on a journey without having taught him stranger three through sorrow he resolved and not to eat then the wife of the teacher said to him student do eat why do you not eat he said to her there are many desires in this man here proceeding in various directions i am full of sorrow and shall to take no food stanza 4 there upon the fires said among themselves this student who is quite exhausted through austerities has a carefully has carefully tended us well let us teach him and they said to him stanza 5 breath prana is brahma ka pleasure is brahma kha is brahma he said i understand that breath is brahma but i do not understand ka or kha they said what is ka is kha what is kha is ka then they taught in brahma as a breath and as the other in the heart section 11 then the grahapatiya fire taught him earth fire food and the sun these are my forms of dharma the person that is seen in the sun that i am that i am indeed stanza 2 he who knowing this meditates on him destroys sin 
obtains the world of Agni, Grahapatya, reaches helpful age and lives brightly. His descendants do not perish. We guard him in this world and also in the other. Whosoever knowing this meditates on him. Section 12 Stanza 1 Venda Anva Harya Pachana Fire taught him Water the quarters the stars and the moon these are my found the person that I is seen in the moon that I am I am that indeed stands at all. he who knowing this meditates on him destroys sin obtains the world of Agni Anvaharya reaches his full age and lives brightly his line of descendants does not perish we guard him in the world and also in the other whosoever knowing this meditates on him Section 13 Stanza 1 Then the Avanya fire taught in breath, Akasha, ether, the heaven and lightning, these are my forms. The person that is seen in the lightning, I am he, I am he indeed. Stanza 2. He who knowing this meditates on him, destroys sin, reaches his full age and lives brightly. His line of descendants does not perish. We guard him in the world and also in the other whosoever knowing this meditates on him. <laughs> Section 14. Stanza 1. Then they all said, Upa Kosala, this is our knowledge, our friend, and the knowledge of the self, but the teacher will tell you the way. Stanza 2. The teacher came back and said to him, Upa Kosala, he answered, Sir, the teacher said, My friend, your face shines like that of one who knows Burma, who has taught you. Who should teach me, sir? He said. He conceals the facts as it were, and he said, These, unlike those, he pointed to the fires. The teacher said, What, my friend, have these fires told you? Stanza 3, he replied this, repeating some of what they had told him. The teacher said, My friend, they have explained the words alone, but I shall tell you something, and as water does not cling to a lotus leaf, so no evil deed clings to one who knows it. He said, Sir, tell it to me. He explained it to him. Section 15 Stanza 1. He said, The person that is seen in the eye, that is the self. This is the immortal, the fearless, this is Dharma. If one drops melted butter or water into this eye, it flows away by the side, does not cling to the eye. Stanza 2. They call him Samayadva. Samyad Vama because all blessings Vama go to him Samyanti all blessings go to him who knows this stanza 3 he is also Vamani because he carries all blessings he who knows this thus carries all blessings 
स्टेंज फॉर ही इज ऑल्सो भमानी भामानी बिकॉज ही शाइंज भापी ऑल वर्ल्ड ही हु नोज दिस दस शाइंज इन ऑल वर्ल्ड स्टेंज फाइव नाउ इफ वन हु नोज दिस डाइज वेदर पीपल फॉर फॉर्म हिज ऑफ सिक्वीज और नॉट ही गोज टू लाइट आर किस from light to day from the day to the bright half of the month from the bright half of the month to the six months during which the sun goes to the north from the months to the year from the year to the sun from the sun to the moon from the moon to the lightning there is a person not human stanza 6 he leads them to brahma this is the path of devas the path that leads to brahma those who proceed on this path do not return to the life of man ya yeah, they do not return section 16 verily that which blows vayu is the sacrifice yojana for he moving along purifies everything and because moving along the moving along he purifies everything he is the sacrifice of which mind and speech are the two ways stanza 2 of the two parts the first is purified by brahma through his mind the second the other is purified by the hota the adwar yo and the udgata through speech after parthura new vaka ceremony morning ritual has begun but before the recitation of pre the hanya hymen of the closing verse of the rig the brahma speaks out stanza 3 He purifies only one of the two ways; the other is injured. As a man walking on one foot or a carriage going on one wheel is injured, his sacrifice is injured, and with the injured sacrifice, the sacrificer is injured. Yes, having sacrificed, he becomes the worst of sinners. Stanza four. But when the Parthura new vaka has begun and not before the parthi dhaniya recitation if this dharma speaks out they purify both the ways and none is injured stanza 5 as a man walking on two legs and a carry is going on two wheels gets on so his sacrifice gets on and with the successful sacrifice the sacrificer gets on you having sacrificed he becomes you better section 18 stanza 1 the prajapati reflected over the words and from them thus brooded over he extracted their essences with fire from the earth air from the sky and sun from heaven stanza 2 he brooded over these three deities and from these deities thus brooded over the extracted out their essences which is the ricks from agni the yajas from the vayu air and the samas from the sun aditya stanza 3 he brooded over the three vedas and from this thus brooded over the brooded over he extracted their essences which is bhu from the riks bhuva from the yajas and swaha from the समाज 
stanza 4 in the performance of a ceremony should any rick hyman happen to be misused the performer of that sacrifice should offer an oblation to grahapatiya household fire saying bhuswaha thus he makes up the injury to the sacrifice with regard to the ricks by the essence of the ricks and by the power of ricks stanza 5 now should any yajas hyman happen to be misused he should offer an oblation to the dakshina southern fire saying bhuva swaha may this prove acceptable to bhuva he makes up the injury to the sacrifices with regard to the yajas by the presence of the yajas and by the power of the yajas Stanza 6. Now should any Sama Hyman happen to be misused, he should offer an oblation to the Ahavanya fire saying Swaha Swaha. He makes up the injury to the sacrifice with regard to the Samas by the essence of the Samas and by the power of the Samas. Stranger of seven, as one, the goldsmith cures or corrects or softens gold by means of borax, silver by gold, tin by silver, lead by tin, iron by lead, and wood by iron or leather. Stranger eight. So does one make up any injury defect to the sacrifice by means of the power of these words of these gods and of the three Vedas. That sacrifice becomes efficacious in which there is a Brahma who knows this. Stanza 9 that sacrifice is inclined towards the north in the right way in which there is a Brahma who knows this and with reference to the Brahma who knoweth all this there is the following Gatha verse wherever it falls back thither the man goes Stanza 10 Such a willing Brahma as a Ritvik priest like a near as warriors are defended by their mares protects the sacrificer that is the Brahma who knows this protects the sacrifice the sacrificer and all the other priests therefore let a man make a man who know this as Brahma and not one who does not know it. Yes, not one who does not know it. Chapter 5, Section 1 Parable of Prana, Mind and Indriyas Stanza 6 now the five senses called together as to who was the best saying, I am better, I am better. Stranger seven. They went to their father Parjapati and said to him, Sir, who is the best among us? He replied, He by whose departure the body seems the worst, that among you is the best. Stanza 8. The speech departed and having been absent for a year, it came back and asked, How have you been able to live without me? They replied, Just like the dumb, not speaking but breathing with the breath, seeing with the eye, hearing with the ear and thinking with the mind, thus we lived, then speech entered.
stanza 9 the i departed and having been absent for a year it came back and asked how have you been able to live without me they replied just like the blind not seeing but breathing with the breath speaking with the tongue hearing with the ear and thinking with the mind thus we lived the i entered tenth stanza the ear departed and having been absent for a year it came back and asked how have you been able to live without me they replied just like the deep not hearing but breathing with the breath speaking with the tongue and thinking with the mind thus we lived then the ear entered the mind departed and having been absent for a year it came back and asked have, I, have you been able to live without me they replied just like the children without mind but breathing with the breath and speaking with the tongue seeing with the eye and hearing with the ear thus we lived then the mind entered then the breath when on the point of departing tore up the other senses just as a spirited horse might tear up the pegs to which he is tethered they came to him and said sir prosper you are the best of us do not depart from us stanza 13 then the speech said to him if I am the richest, thou art the richest. Then the I said to him, If I am firmness, you are firmness. 14. Then the ear said to him, If I am prosperity, you are prosperity. Then the mind said to him, If I am the home, you are the home. 15. And people do not call them speech, I, ear, or mind. They call them breath. For breath is all this. Section 3 Pansagni Vidya Science of Five Fires Sveta Ketu Arunaya and Parvahana Jevali Stranger 1. Savet Ketu Arunaya, the grandson of Aruna, repaired to the assembly of the Panchalas, Parvahana, Jevali, the king of Panchala, son of Jivala, Yakshatriya, asked him, Boy, has your father instructed you? Yes, sir, he replied. Stanza 2. Do you know to what place men go from here? No, sir, he replied. Do you know how they return again? No, sir, he replied. Do you know where the path of the devas and the path of the fathers diverge? No, sir, he replied. 3. Do you know why that world, that of the fathers, never becomes full? No, sir, he replied. Then why did you say you had been instructed? How could anybody who did not know these things say that he had been taught? Then the boy, troubled in mind, came to his father's place and said, Sir, though you had not taught me, you said you had instructed me. Stanza 5. That fellow of a Ragnaya king, Akshatriya, asked me five questions and I could not answer even one of them. The father said, As you have told me these questions of his, I do not understand any of them. If I had known this, why should not? I have told them to you. Stanza says, Then Gautama went to the king's palace and 
when he reached the place, the king offered him proper respect. In the morning, he went to the king in his assembly. The king said to me, Sir Gautama, ask, me, ask a boon of such things as belong to the world of man. He replied, Let such things as man possess may remain with you. Tell me the same speech which you addressed to my son. The king was perplexed. Stanza 7. He commanded, Stay here for some time. Then he said, As to what you have said to me, Gautama, this knowledge did not go to any Brahmana before you, and therefore this teaching belong, belonged among all the people to the Akshatriya class alone. Then he began. Section 4. Stanza 1. Verily, O Gautama, that world heaven is the fire, the sun is the fuel, the rays are the smoke, the day is the flame, the moon is the embers, and the stars are the sparks. Stanza 2. On that fire the devas pour the libation of faith, from that libation King Soma is born. Section 5, stanza 1. O Gautama, Parjanya is verily fire. Of this the air is its fuel, the cloud is its smoke, the lightning its flame, the thunder its charcoal, and the thunderings its sparks. Stanza 2. On that fire, the devas offer the Soma Raza as oblation. From this oblation is born rain. Section 5. Stanza 1. O Gautama, the earth is verily fire. Of this air is the fuel, the akasa its smoke, the night its flame, the quarters its charcoal, and the intermediate quarters its sparks. Stanza 2. In this fire the devas offer rain as oblation. From that oblation food is born. Section 7. Stanza 1. O Gautama, man is verily fire. Of this fire speech is the fuel. Breath its smoke. The tongue is its flame. The eyes its embers. And the ears its scintillation. On that fire the devas pour the libation of food. From that oblation the semen is born. Section 8. Stanza 1. O Gautama, woman is verily fire. Stanza 2. On that fire the devas pour the libation of semen. And from that oblation foetus is born. Section 9. Stanza 1. For this reason, in the fifth oblation, water is called man. This foet is covered, covered in the womb, having dwelt there ten months or more or less is born. Stanza 2. When born, he lives his allotted span of life. When he is dead, the friends or relations carry him as appointed to the fire whence he came and when he springs. So I end this video here. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe the channel. Next video on Chantuge Upanishad will start with the section 10. Thanks a lot. Namaskar my dear friends.